Lehigh enters week eight of the college football season with a number seven ranking and a 7-0 record. The Mountain Hawks will put that record to the test in one of three Patriot League games on Saturday. Lehigh will host Bucknell, Lafayette will entertain Holy Cross, and Georgetown will travel to Colgate. The number seven Lehigh Mountain Hawks welcome in the Bucknell Bison at 12.30 p.m. on Saturday with a chance to extend their NCAA best regular season winning streak to 17 games. Lehigh is 7-0 and enters the game having won 16 straight against Patriot League teams. The Mountain Hawks also have a streak of 14 straight wins over the Bucknell Bison. Last year, Lehigh beat Bucknell 30-6 in Lewisburg. The Mountain Hawks are third in scoring offense and first in scoring defense this season. The Bison also have a strong defense, ranking second in the league behind Lehigh, but their 9.8 points per game on offense are a league worst. Lehigh quarterback Michael Colvin enters the game with six rushing touchdowns and eight passing scores. He leads the league with 1,844 passing yards. The Lafayette Leopards return to Fisher Stadium for their third home game of the 2012 season, and they will host the Holy Cross Crusaders who will look to get their second win in Patriot League play. Both schools open league play with wins over Bucknell, while the Crusaders lost a high-scoring affair with Colgate last week. Leopards quarterback Andrew Shoup returned to the lineup to throw two touchdown passes and a win over Yale last week. That included wide receiver Mark Ross's fourth touchdown of the season. Ross is among the league leaders in receiving with 34 catches for 486 yards. Holy Cross wideout Mike Fess also is among the league leaders in receptions with 37, but he's still searching for the end zone. Holy Cross has had a tough start to the season, and Lafayette coach Frank Tavani points to the Crusaders' rigorous schedule as a reason why. I'm not, and we're not fooled by uh, Holy Cross's record in any way, shape, or form. Uh, in my opinion, strictly my opinion, but up to this point, Holy Cross has played the most difficult schedule of anyone in the Patriot League, and I think that's really... Uh, substantiated by the records of those teams um, played some outstanding teams probably at least two or three potentially top 25 teams. Lafayette's schedule has also been tough in that the Leopards have played four games on the road in six weeks. Now they will begin a pair of games at Fisher Stadium in consecutive weeks and Tavani is happy to be home. But we're, we're fighting to maintain uh, being in control of our own destiny so it's great to be home you know six games and only two at home in six weeks. Um, it's awfully tough uh, you know, way to go, but uh, the you know, young men just shrug that off and uh, play wherever the game schedule. So we're happy to be home, and particularly that we'll be um, home on back-to-back -back weekends. The Colgate Raiders exploded in their Patriot League opener, scoring 52 points, and now they'll look to take the league's best offense against the Georgetown Hoyas, who boast some of the top defensive players in the nation, including linebacker Robert McCabe and defensive back Jeremy Moore. Both players will have their hands filled with Colgate quarterback Gavin McCarney, who is a dual threat, and he showed that last week with a 51-yard touchdown run against Holy Cross. It was his 10th touchdown run of the season, and he has eight touchdown passes to go with it. Five of those touchdown passes have gone to wide out Chris Looney. The Raiders also boast the league's top running back in Jordan McCord, who has 864 yards rushing and nine touchdowns. For all the highlights from Week 8 around the Patriot League in football, tune in to Patriot League All Access on Monday afternoon for another edition of Patriot League Roundup.